I've been wanting to do this since I saw this feature. Here we go. Bam! Aloha, friends and family. Today we're going to take a look at our first clutch of the season. A lot of beautiful white snakes in there. And then we're going to plug them into the offspring groups on Morph Market and show you how we do that. <laughs> Morning to all you wonderful, beautiful people. Looking forward to showing you this clutch. Uh, before we do that, why don't you comment down below? Let me know how you're doing today. And I'm going to tell you how I'm doing today. It's probably going to be a little TMI for some folks, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Against the advice of my beautiful wife, went ahead and had my steak super rare last night. And then on top of that, added a bunch of sugar free ice cream, which is probably loaded with erythritol. So I started out the night hugging the toilet. And then I spent the rest of the night peeing out of my butt, sometimes not making it to the toilet in time. So that's how my day is starting off. How's yours going? Comment down below. First things first, we'll show you mama of the beautiful clutch. You've probably seen her in a previous video sitting on all those babies. Uh, the babies have all shed out now and they're not sitting with her any longer, but this is Violet, our purple passion, who is a Mojave phantom. Since this is an allelic combo, all of her babies are gonna be either phantom or Mojave. And we do have one phantom and one Mojave to compare and then uh, the rest of them are going to be white snakes, which will be either lesser Mojaves or lesser phantoms, depending on which gene got passed on from mom. There's some little pattern that shows up in some of the white snakes that I think is pretty interesting that you can hopefully pick up on the uh, video here. And the other thing is dad is a super pastel lesser, so all of the babies are going to be pastel 100% guaranteed. We got pretty cool odds on the clutch, being that these are the only two snakes that didn't come out white. And... One is a male, one is a female, and we got exactly four females and four males in the clutch. So this first boy here is the boy, and he's a pastel phantom. And then over here, we've got what is probably the most beautiful pastel Mojave that I've ever seen in my life. And she's a female. Just some really nice blushing coming up the sides and just very clean looking. Again, we've, we've hashed out pastel Mojaves here for years, and this is the best one I've ever seen in my entire life. We're gonna move through these snakes pretty quickly so that we can get to the morph market part and I'll show you how we upload that stuff. This next baby we've got here is beautiful and tiny. This is uh, gonna be snake number three out of the clutch and she is probably one of the smallest ball pythons we've ever hatched out over here. Definitely not the smallest ball python to hatch out that I've heard of. Um, she hatched out at about 40 something grams. And I know I've seen ball pythons sometimes hatch out less than 20 grams, which is super tiny, but still on the small side, but no less beautiful for it. And I'm sure after some meals, we'll start to grow just like a weed and catch up with the brothers and sisters, no problem. Interesting thing about this snake is you can actually see some eye stripes if you look really closely. I don't know if that's because this is a lesser phantom versus a lesser Mojave. I, I don't know that, but it is interesting that you can faintly see, and in, when I hold her in the right light, I can actually see alien heads. And you're probably not gonna be able to see it on the camera, but I can actually, with my naked eye and not a black light, see some pattern in this snake, which is pretty cool. Definitely cool. The eye stripes are showing out. Actually, the light is shining right through her head in, from this angle, and I can see almost through her head, which is so interesting. Super cool, beautiful snake. These next three snakes are so similar in appearance that I'm gonna show them at the same exact time. And these are snakes uh, four, five, and six, all pastel blue-eyed leucistic animals, of course. And uh, we got one female here and then two boys over here. And again, they just look so similar. I figured we just show them off at the same time because white snakes are so beautiful, so cool. Such an amazing, amazing thing. They, you know, there's, they're much more common today than they were, say, 10, 15 years ago, but no less beautiful than when they first made their way on the scene, I think. All right, last two snakes of the clutch, snake seven and snake eight. Snake seven's a male, snake eight is a female. And I separated these two out as the last two because they actually have, to steal a word from Jesse over Freedom Breeder, more yellowation on their sides than some of the other snakes. I guess I could have just said yellow. But some of the pastel is influencing these snakes, even though they've only had their first shed. And uh, it's pretty, pretty cool. Snake seven here, he's got some of those eye stripes showing up like we saw with snake number three. Again, both beautiful snakes, really happy. We've never hatched out so many uh, white snakes in a single clutch. So 
this was this was a fun one for us and we're very uh very grateful to have hashed out these beautiful healthy babies now without further ado let's uh let's plug them into morph market and i'll show you what we're going to do there got a discount coming up for you folks watching all right so let's pop up into morph market here and first thing i'd like to show you guys before i start plugging these snakes in are the stores and most of my snakes i'd say 98 percent of the snakes that i sell if i'm not at an expo are to folks across the country where I use Redline shipping to ship my snakes out to. And there is a feature though on Morph Market, if you're somebody that is not comfortable with shipping snakes for some reason, or you just want to find somebody local to you, which I've been blessed to have some local folks here at the church uh, reach out to us about getting snakes here locally. We're always cool to have a local sale. But if you go into the stores tab on Morph Market now, go click on local and you can actually find folks. Um, there it wants me to allow um, this but I'm sure if, if you don't want to allow your location to be tracked by Morph Market, you can just click Don't Allow. And then I would imagine that you could plug in where you're at. And maybe I'm wrong about that. Let's let's see if we click on this. Nope, nope. All regions. Distance. Ah, there you Okay, so maybe you need to plug your location in. I denied access to my location. So if you want to do it, you have to provide access to your location. Not sure if there's a workaround on that, but... Uh, you definitely have to provide your location if you want to find something local to you. Not a big deal, I don't think. Uh, unless you think it is a big deal, in which case, then I'm sorry. <laughs> and check out some of these photos that we took of the snakes. Look at that. That's just Isn't that just a beautiful photo right there? I love taking pictures of snakes. Look at these all these white snakes looking so beautiful in this feed. Just some really cool poses that some of them did. Look at this one right here. Gorgeous. So... Back to Morph Market. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into my offspring groups, and right there at the bottom is Clutch 2301, which is the first clutch of 2023 that just hatched out. Let's click on that sucker, open that up, and you can do all of this on the app as well, by the way. So, really cool. If you haven't downloaded the app, do that. And do 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 do. Uh, there's the sire and the dam. All the information there, we had eight good eggs, zero bad eggs. And these actually hatched out back on April 30th. So we'll just go in here, plug that information in. Simple. And then we'll create offspring. I've been wanting to do this since I saw this feature. Here we go. Bam! Create offspring. So we got four males, as I mentioned, and four females. Submit. Ding to ding. There it goes. Deep purple passion lesser. Oh, what is that? Deep purple pad. I hadn't heard of that. That's if that's if you get everything. The Lesser Mojave Pastel Phantom. Now that's interesting because that's not actually possible. So that's something I guess I'll, I'll bring up to John. You can't have Phantom, Mojave, and Lesser all in the same snake because of their allelic nature. You can only have two of each blue-eyed leucistic trait in any single snake. So well, I'm going to leave that because we don't know which ones are Mojave and which ones are Phantom. We know there's lesser for sure, but they're either Mojave or Phantom. So, so I'll be changing all these titles on my own. You just click on the image. You can upload the picture that you took, put the photos there, change all this stuff to change the IDs to the IDs that I like them to be. And there it'll be. And then once I do all that, I'm going to go in here to actions. And this is something I'm looking forward to doing. I'm going to try this with this clutch and this clutch for now and see how it goes. And I'll let you guys know in a future video if I like how it goes or if I don't. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to change the maturity from baby juvenile to pre-established. And what I'm gonna do with what that does is it lets the purchaser know that these snakes are not yet ready to go to their home, but you can buy it now and then I'll keep them here and feed them until they're ready to go, which I like to get at least five meals in them and, and go like that and actually post them for sale and make them available and I'm just going to give it a try and see how it goes. Maybe I'll love the way it works. Maybe I'll hate the way it works. And I'll let you guys know in a future video what I think about that. But anyway, yeah, super, super simple, super easy to do this stuff on Morph Market now. And just, uh, just great, 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 great company um, that we have to use as this resource. Just all kinds of new things coming out. So pretty stoked about that. But you guys want to go upstairs with me for a minute? Look at this. Because when you were over here, I could help you. 
first kid of ours to actually enjoy sleeping in one of those things. It's pretty nice. How about? All right, you guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. God bless you guys. Aloha. Ooh, almost forgot. Um, 10% off on Morph Market if you guys are watching this video. Just let me know that you watched it. Any final thoughts, Mommy? Uh, what is your video about? I don't Just know. Showing snakes. My thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. Um, showing the new clutch? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and then also talking about the indigestion. Um, oh, yeah. Don't eat rare steak. <laughs> Cook your steak, people. <laughs> Did he?